What's up, YouTube? George Lehman here with MuscleMasochist.com. Um, I haven't been posting videos as frequently as you guys know. Um, it's been a couple weeks or something like that since I put out a video. Still leaning down, as you guys can see, cleaner. Um, but one thing has not been going well. A family member of mine, a direct family member, is very sick. Um, not doing very well, to say the least. They need a uh, treatment that they're not getting. They won't take. And, um, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. I, I did a little bit of research myself, and, um, it's basically always fatal if you don't do something about it. Even if you do something about it, it can be fatal, but it requires emergency surgery and you don't live very long unless you do something about it. Um, so that's not been great. It's not been great. But me, I've, I've dealt with this before. I've gone through this shit a few times. Um, siblings, parents, grandparents, a few times. I'm sure many of, of you guys have. Many of you guys have had a family member be sick or dying or something like that. It's easy to just let everything go. It's easy to drop the ball with everything. It's easy to not be able to go to work, to not be able to go to school, to not be able to see your friends, to not do anything. Real easy. But, death comes for everyone. It's coming for you, right now. It's coming for everyone you know. It's not something to be devastated about. Although, you will be. But, when someone's gone, they're not hurting. They're not missing you. They're not thinking. If you believe in a heaven, they're happy. If you believe in nothing, they know nothing. If you believe in hell, and they're in hell, they deserve to be there. <laughs> So there's, there's not anything to worry about. To those of you who have had this problem, I have, I have clients who are dealing with this problem right now. Maybe in a different way. I have a client whose father has cancer. I have a, you know, many clients whose parents, siblings, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, sick, dying, disease. Keep your head up. It's not easy, but it builds a toughness that you can't get unless you go through it. I've been through this enough times that I've been through this enough times that this isn't even unusual. Terrible. But terrible is normal when you look for it in life. Um, so for those of you going through it, keep your head up. Keep your head up. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Don't stop training. Don't stop going to school. Don't stop going to work. Don't stop seeing your friends. Don't stop going out. Don't stop being you. This kind of thing will make you feel debilitated. It'll make you feel like you can't do anything. Your energy will go down. Your mind won't work right. It'll fuck with your sleep. But rather than let that handicap you, rather than let that cripple you, use it to push yourself to enjoy the life that you have 
right now. Because like I said, death is coming for all of us. What we have is right now. Right now does not last forever. So take advantage of right now. Don't waste right now. I know people who have wasted right now, their whole life. I know people who have lived a life that wasn't one-tenth as good as they could have and no one told them to do otherwise because that was normal for them. They lived a normal life. Don't live a normal life. Live a fucking exceptional life. Live the life that you want to live because it will come to an end. And when it does, and when you're dying, and when your family looks at you, don't let them look at you and wish you had lived a better life. Let them look at you and be proud that you were happy. Be proud that they know you accomplished what you wanted to. That you lived your life with passion. That you experienced things others didn't. That you dreamed and chased after your dreams. And when your time comes, and it will, you will be at peace. You will not be regretting the things you didn't do. Because you'll have fucking done them.